Hi, I'm Colin McMillan with Solution Oriented. Uh, we're a VMware consulting firm and um, here to talk about unified storage in the v uh, virtualization use case, um, specifically for uh, VMware platforms. Uh, so the genesis of the uh, virtualization use case started with a uh, single machine and direct attached storage. And while uh, a single machine could in increase uh, CPU utilization, uh, consolidate workloads to improve manageability, it introduced on its way a many to one single point of failure uh, problem. Single point of failure on the hypervisor and single point of failure on the direct attached storage. Where this could be mitigated with leg techniques and uh, this could be uh, somewhat mitigated by um, highly available equipment, um, uh, the risks to your mission critical applications are too high. So, we came up with a way to use shared storage and multiple hypervisors to produce and mitigate high availability needs, but with an unmanaged direct attached storage approach, uh, there was too much risk on the storage side. Uh, Obviously, not well manageable, uh, restrictions to non-redundancy of disk, uh, levels of management, sometimes even restrictions to single LUN, um, which would then violate some of your uh, VMware needs in terms of um, maximum VM per LUN, etc. So, introducing the basic level uh, of uh, redundant storage, uh, the uh, best practice initially was fiber channel framework with a fiber channel SAN storage system which uh, in modern uh, non-legacy fiber channel environments introduced um, uh, a relatively high technological hurdle for um, uh, shops that didn't have uh, fiber channel to begin with requiring uh, new languages in terms of uh, network provisioning and new languages in terms of uh, storage provisioning. Um, for Fiber Channel gives a, a nice benefit in terms of low latency and high performance. Um, it also includes um, uh, higher cost in terms of Fiber Channel drives, higher cost in terms of network um, infrastructure, and uh, only presents uh, block level storage facilities uh, to the hypervisor. Um, requiring a reliance on uh, VMFS as the storage mechanism for your virtual machines. As we all know, virtual machines are just simply a VMDK file uh, and a VMX file, which describes the attributes of the uh, compute environment that the virtual machine are running. Um, so, uh, in the typical use case where VMFS is, is, a, good is a good option, um, fiber channel gets the job done, but in some cases it's it's overkill. In most use cases it's overkill. So we introduced then network attached storage in the form of um, iSCSI initially because it also is a block uh, device, uh, replacing fiber channel with Ethernet and replacing the fiber channel array with an iSCSI array. And again iSCSI has the attributes of being easily connected in an existing network architecture um, based on Ethernet and multi-gig Ethernet and uh, now 10-gig Ethernet um, gives you your high availability mode which enables vMotion just like the fiber channel use case did um, provides you with block storage just like the fiber channel use case did um, does introduce uh, a latency of uh, IP can be mitigated in many ways with jumbo frames and faster storage, um, but introduces a much lower uh, cost entry point uh, into the mid market um, um, that Fiber Channel uh, can't really offer. However, there's an alternative approach using the same uh, network topology, and that's to use NFS at a file system level which provides uh, file system access to your VMDKs. So everybody knows NFS is uh, an IT ETF standard. So where 
with the block level storage of iSCSI or fiber channel, um, interconnecting devices, supplementary devices that might be managing backup, you just speak need to speak VMFS in the old um, um, paradigm with the block level storage now they can speak NFS and have access to those VMDKs without using um, VMware's VCB or any third party tool. The unified storage approach gives you the best of both worlds the ability to offer file level and block level access to your storage without having to have double your infrastructure. Um, and while that can be done in Ethernet and fiber channel, it's most commonly done in an Ethernet only uh, topology. Where Nexeno Store comes in is offering you the block level with iSCSI or fiber channel and file level with NFS and alternately ability to access those NFS through um, your outside backup systems potentially through SIFs which most of your um, Windows operating systems speak natively. What's unique about Nixenna's approach to unified storage is that its heart is ZFS, which uh, in includes a uh, significant amount of data integrity functions um, that uh, continuously not only um, check some data as it's written to disk, but continuously uh, poll uh, your uh, storage pools for uh, integrity checks on an ongoing basis throughout the life cycle of the data on the drive. Um, ZFS also um, offers some convenient ways of uh, uh, backing up and uh, uh, replicating data um, within uh, an appliance between storage pools as well as between multiple appliances um, across local area networks or wide area networks using uh, local area network protocols as well as uh, wide, area, wide area network protocols like SSH to secure your, uh, your replication. With, the, with ZFS ease of use in uh, replication uh, for both block and file level um, volumes in a VMware uh, environment, um, Next Center Stores introduced uh, their VM data center product, VMDC, which gives uh, an administrator the ability to uh, manage, uh, control, clone, and um, template uh, virtual machines from the storage system itself, um, alleviating some of the, uh, the um, two-party provisioning methodology associated with vCenter provisioning and then storage provisioning and then vCenter provisioning again, um, reducing administrative uh, overhead, um, especially in um, operations where templates and cloning are important. Um, ZFS is uh, virtually unlimited snapshot capability is um, uh, leveraged uh, in VM data center to, to allow you to uh, take a template VM uh, take a snapshot from that snapshot, make multiple clones that um, are essentially deduplicated by nature in that only the difference between the original VM and the, uh, the clone um, uh, shows up in terms of a storage footprint. Okay, so now that we've uncovered some of the um, propositions that ZFS and Xena Store have in a virtualization use case, um, it's important to uh, point out that ZFS is based ZFS and Xena Store are based on um, open storage platform, um, relatively hardware agnostic, and therefore um, with don't rely on proprietary hardware 
and um, offers a uh, much lower cost um, a deployment platform for your virtualized storage. And once again, I'm Colin McMillan with Solution Oriented, and thanks for your time.